Hi YouTube, it is the 11th of October 2022 and my mate's come over so this needs to come down. Now, the bearings haven't arrived yet but they will do shortly. I've just got to undo these over here and then we can take it down. Okay, right, my mate's gonna start on the winch. We've got this bit down here. Using this winch, and we've got it on here. You up? There it goes. Beautiful day today. It's only about 10 degrees, but it's going to get warm later, I should think. Warmer. We're going to use this to prop up the turbine while we do stuff to it, because Elon's leg is in the wrong place. So I'll probably get a grinder and take that off. This thing here. You can see that spider's web there, very nice. So that's laying on there, which obviously looks a bit dubious, but with the amount of weight on it and the fact that these wires, cables mean it can't go from side to side. So I'll tell you what the jobs are that need doing. This all needs to come off. I can't replace the bearings today because they haven't arrived. But yeah, the shaft and the bearings need to come off. Uh, the good thing is uh, this can be taken off in one piece, this, this whole thing. This needs painting because it looks terrible, especially from the front. Here you can see how the gear cog is connected to the drive shaft. There's a hole drilled in the drive shaft and that goes in. See how it connects the, to the turbine. You can see the chain's quite loose. It actually works pretty well like that. You might look at that and say that's way too loose, but I don't know if actually the looseness gives it a chance to turn a bit before the motor engages. Now the tail needs painting as well. This obviously needs going over again, so it'll probably be down for a few days. I do have another gear, which I should eventually put on here as well. I plan to have, uh, I plan to weld them together, so I don't have to keep, I'll just have to, to change gear. I'll have to shuffle this along and connect it by the other one. So yeah, but it's a bit of a mess, but now it's down. The plan is to try and uh, take the blade hub off in one go. So I just need to go get the stuff and try and crack on with that. My mate's not really up for being filmed. So just to let you know, hopefully blades off, loosen the chain, take take this off. Sweet. Right, the tail is off. As you see, looking very strange. Uh, the idea is we're just gonna take the bearings off and let the blades down as slowly as possible. See the gear hub on the motor, which you obviously can't see while the chain is on. These are the bolts. So you can undo the motor, tighten up. These are the levels which are used to level it up. So yeah, let's get that done. Right, as you can see, that is off. That is off. And this is uh, 
it'll be a perfect time to try and give it some cleaning. That motor, ah, oh, it's because I've got the brake on the motor feels super hard to turn even more than usual. I don't know if you can see that bolt there. That's how the gear hub, as I, uh, gear sprocket connects. So yeah, that's good. Uh, the bearings haven't turned up yet, so I think it'll probably be cleaning this. will be the first job. We we'll need the blades taken off and then cleaning and painting. And then if the bearings still haven't turned up, I'm going to try and get this painted. So sweet, yeah, that is progress. Uh, just making a note that the weight is on the blade that corresponds with this on the back side. So we, we're taking the blades off so we can paint them and more importantly we can paint this crappy looking thing. Sweet. So that's where we got to today and my shoulder is in a bit of a pain so I think that's pretty much progress. Still waiting for the bearings to turn up. We'll just have a quick look at everything else first. So there's the tail. While we're on the subject we've got this blade hub here that I made and I'm well up for trying that as a blade combination. Just thought I'd let you know that. But yeah obviously the other main part is this and the bearings are off so that can get painted this is the bit that was nicked off the old chinese wind turbine which works pretty well but i have got an idea of how to bring this down to here but that's another story so yeah that's it for now but that's progress uh, that was a complete mission taking it apart and i would have struggled very much if my mate wasn't here yeah that, that's that feels pretty stiff that bearing Anyway, we're getting brand new ones, so I am going to keep these, but they won't be required. There's the gear hub. Let's put that somewhere safe gear. I keep calling it a gear hub, but gear sprocket. So anyway, bye for now. See you soon. Peace.